2020 was a bit of a rough year for Tamar Braxton, but these days things are looking up for her. I was living a complete lie and facade that I was okay for a long time, but I'm good now. It seems that the reality TV star and singer was up for a fresh start altogether, including a new place to call home. Around the end of last year, Tamar dropped nearly $2.5 million to snag a brand new modern farmhouse in Sherman Oaks after finally selling her plush, customized mega mansion in Calabasas. Today we're checking out a few of Tamar's properties, past and present. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tamar Braxton is a singer and TV personality who began her career in 1990 as a founding member of the R&B group The Braxtons, which she formed with her sisters. While the trio released their album in 1996, they disbanded shortly afterwards and Tamar embarked on a solo music career. She released her debut album in 2000 through DreamWorks Records. After a 13 year break, Tamar released her second album and a few more after that, winning a BET award, three Soul Train Music Awards and nominated for four Grammys over her music career. Aside from all that, she's also known in the reality TV world, starring on the Braxton Family Values since 2011 alongside her mother and sisters. While the show ran for seven seasons, more recently Tamar admitted that the pressure of being on TV wasn't the best for her family relationships or her mental health, and she was unhappy with how others perceived her. These days off screen, it seems Tamar is focusing on her self care and her family. While she had to sell her massive home in Calabasas, it looks like she and her son are now living in a gorgeous new Sherman Oaks home and according to her net worth, she'll still have a few million dollars left over in the bank. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. You guys requested this one and since we already did her sister Tony Braxton's house tour, today we're taking a look at where Tamar Braxton calls home, like her current farmhouse style spot and two of her former estates. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered what Lil Uzi Vert's face diamond is all about? Or about Justin Bieber's one of a kind new car? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be sure to subscribe. We're gonna link you to one of our videos. I'm gonna tell you everything we know about it and why on earth you would wanna spend so much on something so seemingly strange. Wouldn't a diamond in the forehead feel weird? Who knows? As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. First, we'll look at a home Tamar used to own way back when when she was married to her ex-husband Vincent Herbert. The R&B singer and her music producer ex bought this crib in Hidden Hills, California back in 2011 for $3.4 million. And while they sold the faux French style mansion only a year later, the kicker is they got $6.9 million for it making a few million on the deal. This two story home sat on 1.3 acres of land and the exclusive gated neighborhood was still as desirable as it is today. While the photos are outdated by now, the mansion and spanned nearly 12,000 square feet of space and had features like a double height entryway with curved twin staircases and a large formal living room with a marble fireplace and built-in bookshelves. Elsewhere, there were five bedrooms and 7.5 baths and common spaces like a formal dining room with open beam ceiling and attached wine cellar. There was also a gourmet kitchen with huge center island and plenty of space to casually dine. Other features in Tamar's former mansion included a library with custom paneling and another fireplace, a home theater, and a pub games room with wet bar and waterfall outside. Estimated payments on these digs are upwards of 34 k per month, but the ex-celebrity couple could no doubt afford it. And just wait till you see the palace Tamar moved to after this. In 2018, it was reported that Tamar was trying to offload her opulent mega mansion in Calabasas, first listing it for rent at 85 k per month, and a few months later, other reports claiming she sold it for 9.25 million. The reality TV star purchased this home for 10.5 million dollars with her strange husband Vincent back in 2013 and it was located in the guard gated celebrity enclave of the Oaks with neighbors like Kourtney Kardashian, Travis Barker and more. Further safeguarded by a high tech security system, Tamar's stately 15,000 square foot plus home was designed in a somewhat Mediterranean style and sat on two large landscaped acres of land. Inside there were seven ensuite bedrooms, nine full baths, two half baths and features like a 15 car underground garage as well as indoor and outdoor fireplaces 
places throughout. Not only does this mansion have a salon and glam room, elevator, professional recording studio, playground, and mirrored home gym, but there is even an impressive champagne bar modeled after the Dorchester Hotel in London. Walking in, the first thing you see is a double height and grand foyer with curved staircase and a central reception gallery. This leads to a multi-purpose living and entertaining room with patterned wood floors, Corinthian columns, and floor-to-ceiling French doors opening to the terrace outside. One of the family rooms in Tamar's former mansion opens to the kitchen, which is arranged around a double-wide island and decked out in dark wood cabinets. Other features here include stainless steel appliances, granite counters, and a spacious cook-friendly environment. While there are both formal and informal dining areas inside the home, there's even a larger outdoor dining room under a covered patio with seating for 12 or more guests. Other amenities in the home include a home movie theater, of course, because what mansion is complete without one, as well as an office, games room, and wine cellar. The covered patio that runs along the back of the home overlooks a flat grassy yard with a resort-style swimming pool and spa, and nearby there's a poolside guest house. This whole setup boasts an open view over the surrounding canyons and the hilltops. More recently, after moving on from that mansion in the Oaks we just looked at, Tamar treated herself to a brand new farmhouse-style retreat in the Los Angeles suburbs of Sherman. Oaks. She closed on the home in fall 2020, and while it was a sizable change from her former palace, it's still a brand new and spacious residence, costing the R&B singer over $2.4 million. Finished brand new in summer 2020, the two-story abode offers six bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms, and 3,800 square feet of living space. It has an open floor plan ideal for entertaining and high-quality hardwood flooring throughout. Kmart's elegant new home has all the modern upgrades you can need, as well as no or the touches like beam ceilings with recessed lighting and elegant finishes. While there aren't many interior photos readily available online, listing details describe the rooms such as the gourmet chef's kitchen. Here, Tamar can enjoy Thermador brand stainless steel appliances and features like a built-in breakfast table and custom-built cabinets. The nearby family room hosts a warm fireplace for the perfect place to unwind or to have some close friends over for a visit. Upstairs, Tamar's master suite is a private retreat offering its own balcony, space walk-in closet, another fireplace, as well as a hotel-style bathroom. Here there are double vanities, a walk-in shower, separate tub, and another makeup vanity. If one prefers to entertain outside, the backyard has a barbecue and fire pit, as well as a jacuzzi and swimming pool with waterfall. If guests need a place to crash, there's even a one-bed and one-bath pool house or cabana. Alright, so that's all I got for the homes of Tamar Braxton. While she may have sold that mega mansion in Calabasas, I think her brand new home in Sherman Oaks is something to be proud of. It's Gorgeous. While we don't have many pics of Tamar's new home, I love the modern farmhouse style, and if the exterior views are anything to go by, I think the place would have been designed perfectly. Which one of her homes was your fave? I mean, if I wanted a castle, I might pick the mega mansion in the Oaks, but I'd be happy with her current place too. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!